So we are actually physically taking the first soil sample in Nkranza, Ghana, and Western Africa on the land that's going to grow maize, as they call it here. Corn. I'm almost starting to call it maize because we've used it now for <laughs> a week. We've been here a week. We uh, left Minnesota a week ago today and arrived in the country on uh, Wednesday. Today's Tuesday, the 22nd. And so we're going to take our first soil sample. Of course, the ground has not had rain for three months, so it's kind of hard. So. I, I practiced a little bit, and so you're going to see this process. This is going to be a slow process because the ground's hard. And we are in a former cornfield that somebody planted corn in by hand around trees and everything. So um, there was a crop on here a little bit last year, probably during the minor season, we're guessing. Techi and his... Uh, and, uh, and our, our workers are coming to help us. They, uh, they can ha they, they're used to the heat more than we are. We, uh, when we left Minnesota, it was zero, five degrees, 10 degrees, yeah, something like that. Yep, Fahr uh, Fahrenheit, which yeah. would be like minus 15, minus 10 Celsius. And right now we're 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which would be uh, 35, 35, 40, somewhere yeah. in there. Uh, Celsius and uh, here comes our, our relief crew. There's Techi and the, and the other two guys and uh, we're just getting started. We're not going to work too hard today but try to get seven eight samples and go from there. So yeah. I'm, so I, I need to go Every time Techi's around he won't let us do anything so <laughs> so he's gonna take over and get started. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> so. They won't let me do my job. I know, I know. You're the scientist. You're supposed to observe and watch. You're not supposed to. <laughs> Inside? Nope, nope, on the ground. On the ground. We gotta go a little deeper and then we'll get a sample. We need to go down about this far. You haven't hit any of that red red dirt yet, so that's good. And also, uh, Andy asked about hitting the red dirt. Red soil is iron. It's a high iron, which is not what we want. It's going to be part of our subsoil. Water infiltrates really fast through it, which you can't do anything about it. Yep. And that's what we're working with. And it still is, we've said many times, it's, we're not going to grow 200 bushel corn planted in March. Not this year. Yep. Maybe never. But we work with the climate that we've had, lower inputs for fertilizer. We do a good job. We're optimistic. That's all we can say. Yep. Okay. Awesome. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got plenty. Yep. So then what I do is it's just this. Yeah, that way he gets the full six inches. He gets a sample all the way down as he scrapes the side. Okay, so what we do is we take about six or eight of these, kind of in this area right here. So yep, yep, if you want to. All right, so we got our, our workers digging the holes, Dan supervising, helping out. We've got another sample over here. Techie's kind of helping over there. I'm, I'm videoing, and then I'm going to grab some sample bags. It can be a pretty small hole. Don't make it very big because it's more work. Yep. So we are going well. This is our sixth sample. It's, it's very warm. We're not used to it. Uh, we're right next to where they did a little burning. This tree's still smoldering. Um, uh, but uh, it's going well. Everything's going good. We're heading back to the road and back to the pickup. So we are at a little hut. They actually have chickens here. It's kind of a nice... See, they've got doors and stuff on it. We probably spend the night. Here's our crew. We have one more sample to do. 
So the caretaker is showing us the different types of corn, yellow yes. corn and white corn. And it was grown right here. Yes. Yes. And they probably use a little bit of it to feed the chickens. Yes. Ah, nice. And then this, hey Van, what is this here that we're next to? Yeah. And you need to walk yep, I can. Yep. This is a big one. Yes, it is. So is it termite or is it ants? Ants. Termite. Ants. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot of work. All right, we're in the village, and we're gonna have uh, a lunch here. We're kind of a little pub. It's the name of the pub, and they bring us a little bit of salt. That's good. That's good. All right, yeah, yeah. we're washing up, ready to eat, so it's good. <laughs> ah, it's good. It's a hard, hard morning of work, we're getting cleaned up, ready to eat. We're in the pub, fans are going, TV's on, we're just kind of hanging out, we're getting the food lined up. I guess what's on TV? We're watching Ladies All Star Wrestling. <laughs> Which is just funny. Uh, that's the entertainment for the guys this afternoon, I guess. So. so here's our lunch we have chicken. Nice sauce, it's not too spicy, kind of a salad. And then we also had spaghetti. And then we also have There's rice in there. All very good. Water. We're just kind of relaxing in a nice area. To, we got the ceiling fans running. And again, we're watching All Star Wrestling. Enjoying the <laughs> the lunch hour. <laughs>